No. Ow, jump back. You come to steal my hop? That ain't hip. I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Hit me now. All right. Let's get ready to hit him. Against Don Mole and his soul moles. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is call our team. That's pretty much what you want to do first thing every boss battle from now on. Worst case scenario, your team doesn't really do anything and you haven't really lost anything. Uh, calling your team has priority over everything. They come out first thing. So, I mean... Oh, well, that's really not good. I do think it's funny that uh, it does confuse the soul moles. <laughs> Dang it, Potbelly. <laughs> it's also hilarious when they run away. Alright. I don't think you're going to get to use that tension, Brickman. Alright, so... Can't call Foxhound again. Now we psych up, psych up, and we get to Oomphin. And we're going to go ahead and cast Kabuff. Why is Yangus confused? I was not aware that uh, Don Mole's uh, ability could actually uh, confuse your party members while you had your monsters on the the scene. That's actually new uh, to me. Psych up, psych up. All right, and you oofed. You oof, oomph Yangus, please, and. You need to mid heal Jessica and then mid heal yourself. This is sort of a dangerous fight to uh, psych up in because if you get confused, you lose your uh, buff. But. I think it is worth it. Um, I actually remember something I was going to tell you guys earlier. Um, the first time I played this game, uh, this was the fight that I found out you could actually psych up. I never used psych up ever before this. And I just whipped this guy when I learned how to psych up. Like, the bosses in this game gave me so much trouble uh, the first time through the game. Because, you know, I, I wasn't psyching up. I didn't know how. Um, you know, psyching up is basically how you get powerful enough uh, and hit hard enough to take on the bosses before you get your kit. You know, in the mid-game, your kit starts to come together and psyching up kind of goes to the wayside. But... Uh, see I forget if I actually oomphed Jessica whatever this should take out uh, yeah the two moles and damage Don mole quite a bit thank you sir awesome nobody is affected we are in really good shape right now. Alright, we're going to psych up again. And we're going to parallax and psych up. And 
and we're gonna kabuff since he's got really nothing better to do I could psych him up and have him attack but I'd probably end up using that uh, attention and a heal so you know I'll just keep doing this it's fine Parallax is a really cool looking attack. Flaming blue skull. It's awesome. Psych up. Psych up. And who needs a heal? Jessica, you need a heal. Oh! Oh, uh, I'm going to gamble and say that I did actually uh, buff her because I wasn't paying attention and I don't know if I actually did. So we're going to pretend that I did. We're going we're gonna to go with a mid heal this time. Uh, yeah, that looks like it was oomphed. You can tell because, like, oomph only works on the first hit of multi-hit abilities. So. Alright, who needs the healing? Alright. Um. Go ahead and multi-thrust. I'm going to have you use that strong medicine on yourself. I'm going to have you oomph him and you mid-heal. Well, no, just heal yourself. Get that oomph in. But I didn't need it. He was dead anyway. Nice. Five more skill points. Into spears it goes. Take it to the bread. Things done got too far gone. <laughs> dig dug. Like okay, the mo the moles here. They just keep going dig dug, dig dug. Like dig dug. Like Pokemon, but I, I don't even know what to say. I like with the moles it's it's you know well at least we got the heart back yay so anyway we're done here we're gonna evac the heck out of here Got everything out of here we need and could possibly want. And we're going to zoom back to Ascantha. Because walking is for chumps who don't have the zoom spell. And we're going to go in here. We're going to go talk with the king. And we're going to tell him we got his heart back for him. Because we are doers, people. We just get out there and we just do. We don't need to wait for no guards. Don't need to wait for no kingly approval. We are men of action. Men and one lady of action.
really. <laughs> I guess they're debating on what to do. Yep. Yes, very, very regrettable. Like, we don't want to own it forever. We just want to use it to get a ship out of the desert. And that sounds crazy, actually, now that I say it. We just want our magical, like, alternate dimensional elf friend to be able to summon the memory of a long-forgotten extinct ocean. To then lift up and sail a magic ship out to the actual sea so we can drive it to go after a killer clown who turned a king and a princess into a frog monster and a horse it does sound crazy when you actually like spell it out like that doesn't it uh, we want to rest till evening because it has to be dark to get into the moon shadow window. I thought my PS2 froze for a second there. I was about to cry. Uh, but thankfully it did not. So there will be no tears today. Is the alchemy pot done a cooking? No, it is not. No, no, we're good. We can keep cooking. I really want that staff for Angelo so he can throw his own sp speak of the devil and we get a magma staff yay so the magma staff uh, will cast the bang spell if used as an item in battle so it's pretty handy um, in comparison, the Rock Bomb Shards actually cast Boom. Nope, it's, it's okay. He doesn't have to equip it, merely possess it. And that'll be handy for a little while. Alright, so... Now we want to zoom to Trodane. And we want to go get Elf Friend. Thankfully, we don't have to go through the entire castle again. Uh, it probably would have been smarter to go through the castle in two trips, like I normally do, instead of like powering through it like I did last time. But, you know, what can you do? There's a door over here, I think. Alright. Yep, door right there. Like I thought, not crazy. Thank God I remembered to actually open that up. Yep, open the moon shadow window. This place is very neat. I like it. Although it reminds me more of a uh, kind of a higher stakes location, you know? You know what it reminds me of? I've witnessed the passing of many moons, but never before have I felt time pass so slowly. I'll tell you exactly what this place reminds me of. Final Fantasy VII, the city of the ancients where Sephiroth stabs Ares. Eris, Eris, Erith, whatever you want to, however you want to say her name. I see the outcome of your quest from the brightness in your eyes. You have retrieved the moon shadow heart. I did, elf friend. Please show it to me. The mighty instrument that will rouse the memory of the ocean.
This harp has traveled far, just as you have. I did not imagine it would ever find its way into my hands again. Now, let us attend to the task at hand. Okay, lead the way, elf friend. Let us go to the ship. Music will awaken it from its slumber and set it sailing once more. Yay! Thankfully, we do not have to walk back to the ship. Elf friend is kind enough to teleport us to the ship. What's going on? How did we go? <laughs> this ship, the Moonshadow Harp, and myself. We are all the same. We are all from the old world. I must thank you for reuniting us ancient ones. Ghost fish! Now, come. Come to me, times past. Come to me, ancient ocean. Return once more. Uh, is this Art Daffinol? No. Can it really be beyond even the moon shadow harp? Ah, but wait. Forgive my ignorance. At first I saw only a horse. But now I see that you are truly a noble princess. Yep, the princess of all horses. Of course. Magic begins with a word. Music begins with a voice. The beautiful voice of this cursed princess is all this great instrument needs to play its music. She can't speak, dude. Princess, please come to my aid. Sing with me. Right, yeah, so basically all the uh, ancient ocean needed there was uh, a nay, so yeah. But anyway, this is a very epic scene, I think. But also very subdued, you know? Like... This game really reminds me in tone more of... A lot of the stuff that happens in, say... A Studio Ghibli movie. Like, stuff like, um... Kind of got that... I'm trying to think of one. Uh, like Howl's Moving Castle and things like that. Where there's kind of this whimsy to everything this kind of subdued sense of just magic like you have these wondrous things happening but at the same time it's not in your face it's not flashy you know I, I also think the orchestral themes really 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 do a lot to uh give me that sense now it is time for us to part i will sing to bless your journey on the ancient ocean 
my children. Thank you, elf friend. He stole our harp. That bastard. The king gave us that. We're supposed... I, I was going to give it back. Come back. Well, damn. Well, I guess you can't have everything, right? Like, look how high that ocean is. What kind of massive climate change? Thank you very much, Yangus, or as I like to call you, Captain Stereotype. Stop your ridiculous blethering. This is all thanks to my precious Medea. Yeah, well, at least we've got the boat up and running now, eh, hey, Gov? Nice. I still think Yangus is awesome, though. Don't you think it's a bit early to be congratulating ourselves? We still have a lot to do. Like going after Dull Magus, remember? Right. That's the thing we were doing that we just not... Like, I feel like we've been on a five-hour, like, side quest. That's why we went to so much effort to get the ship in the first place. Well, if Dull Magus has left the eastern continent... I say we head for the west and see if we can't catch up with him there. Right then, it's decided. We sail for the west. Get to it. Yes, sir, King Trode. One of the things that's always bothered me about RPGs is it takes a actual crew to run a ship like uh, most rpgs you get a ship it's just your party and you never have enough people in your party to actually crew a vessel uh, at least they kind of hand wave it in this game with it being a magic ship but you know like dragon warrior 2 you just have the three people on this boat that you pick up of course we don't know if there wasn't a crew on the boat it was a lint boat but my point still stands. Like most Final Fantasy games where you actually get a boat, uh, the most recent thing that pops in my mind is Final Fantasy Dimensions. You know, you just, your, your parties end up picking up all these boats and vehicles and they just go right to the helm and they just drive it. And that's not how it works. You've got to have people manning the sails and and like doing the rigging and things like that otherwise a sailing vessel doesn't sail very well but anyway all my griping aside we now have the magic ship yay and the world has really opened up now we are no longer um, confined to the eastern continent we can go to the western continent and uh, there's two additional, well, there's three additional continents, one of them we can't get to yet, for story reasons, and the other two have a city on them, so, anyway, but the first stop we want to make is right here, this is the mini metal castle, This is Princess Minnie's castle, and this place is where you turn in the mini medals for the game. Uh, there's some. Before I go in there, there are some actual, like, difficult enemies here, so be very careful. 